Hey guys, this is Trey back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you a $20 Walmart rod I got and this overall I think was pretty good. Make sure you stay tuned in the video and I'll show you what comes in the package now. Alright, so I just opened up the box and you can see this is the bag that it comes in. I think it's really nice that it comes in a bag, especially for $20.99. You know, it's not the greatest quality bag or anything, but it's still kind of nice how it's so compact. And like a rod, reel, and some lures can fit in this little thing. Especially because today I'm filming on the porch of my Pocono house. It's a nice screened in porch. We're kind of like in the trees here. So it's really cool and it's good for just a throw in your car. So you can see I already took some packaging off, but here's the reel. It's probably not the best reel. You can see it's a Chinese reel. It's probably like a knockoff of some sort, but I already tried to reel it a bit. It doesn't have the best action, but I think maybe for $20, I think it's pretty good. So then also comes with the pack of baits in here. It's nice that it comes in a case. And here you can see there are two different types of hooks. There are jig heads, and then there's just regular hooks. And there's also some other things over here. And we have two different colors of crawfish. And then we have two different colors and sizes of grubs. And then also it comes with, of course, the telescopic rod, which I really like. I'm going to go ahead, open it up, and show you what it looks like. All right, so I just extended the rod out, and you can see this is where the reel goes. But it'll be held like this, and I think it's only about a five-foot rod. Again, I'll post a picture up on the screen right now of what the actual Walmart site said it was. But you can see when shaking it back and forth, the tip doesn't move that much, which I actually think is really good, which I think is, means it's flexible. And I've seen some other like cheap combos like this, and they've been super flexible, which isn't always the best. You can see, again, I don't know if I get a big fish on, if it'll handle that, but kind of seems to be pretty good to me. Has some good resistance to it. So I'm gonna go ahead, attach the reel, and get set up, and show you when I'm at the pond. All right, so you can see I'm here again at my cousin's pond. And it's a beautiful day out. Today it's about 80 degrees. So you can see here is the $20 Walmart rod. And I have it all set up right now. This is, I'm trying to do like a little challenge of using only the baits it came with. So there's just a little grub with a jig head on it. And then it also has a bobber. So I'm just going to go ahead, cast this around and see how it does. There's, in this pond I said before in previous videos, that there's tons of sunfish. I actually just caught a couple days ago a giant five and a half pound catfish. Along with sunfish and catfish, there's bass, there's wiper, which is a white striped bass. That means it's freshwater. There's snapping turtles, there's bass, regular largemouth bass, crappie, a whole bunch of stuff in here. So you can see it actually casts pretty far. Didn't get anything there yet, but I'm gonna cast this around and do one more cast for you guys. Yeah, it actually casts out pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead, fish, and update you when I get a bite. All right, so I'm pretty sure I'm hooked up on a catfish right now. They have giant catfish in here. I was not, ex oh my gosh, it's giant. It is huge. I'm just hoping I can land this fish. Bit right on the grub. He's tangled up right now in the bushes. This is a giant catfish. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. I have to 
to grab something real quick. Catfish can actually stay out of the water for a long time. They are really cool like that, but they also have a bunch of spines. So that's why I'm trying to use grippers to get them right now, because they have spines on their top fin, on their side fin. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys can see that right now. This thing is huge. I just caught a five and a half pound catfish the other day on it. I'm gonna go ahead, get it out, and weigh him up. All right, so I don't know if you can see that, but that is about a four and a half pound catfish. So I'm ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and release him back into the pond. see him swim away but there he goes now that right there was a beautiful channel catfish or blue catfish that was insane and i don't know if you guys can tell because i'm in person right now i can tell this rod right here is actually really good because that that was a four and a half pound catfish keep in mind this is the line that came with this whole setup for twenty dollars along with this little grub and jig head I haven't, that's only my third catfish out of this whole entire pond, which is just incredible. So, that's just, you can see the line didn't break on my, you can see my whole bunch of other rods. Here's my normal setup. You can see the line's thinner, and I had a whole bunch of catfish break off on this the other day. And then I had to switch to a surf rod with heavier line on it. So just the fact that this thing held up and stood up to that thing is just amazing. And the price point of it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to fish. It was a little bit hard to reel in just because the reel is kind of, it's not the best, we'll say. So that was a little bit hard to reel in. But I, I'm just so happy I landed that fish. And my PB in here, like I said, was five and a half pounds, which is only a pound off from that catfish, which is insane. So I'm gonna continue to fish. Maybe I'll catch another catfish or maybe I'll catch a bass or Sonny. We'll see. All right, so sorry about that, but my GoPro just died. And I did end up, I casted right over there and I caught another crappie. I hooked up on another one, but then a snapping turtle came by and then ate the bait. So now I just threw on a little jigger, jitter bug and I'm going to try and target some bass because over there I got a huge blow up. So I'm going to go and see if I can catch one. All right, so you can see, I hope you enjoyed the video so far, but my review on this, I personally really like it. I actually just hooked up on two other catfish, but the line unfortunately broke on both of them, and I could see them in the water, and I knew they were big. But the things I have to say is, I think I think the whole setup is actually good. Um, maybe, obviously, the real pry could be better, and I think overall for the price, I think it's really good. And the rod really holds up very well, like the... Yeah, the actual rod is really good. The reel, I would say not so much, but that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to pick one of these up because I think this is really cool just to throw in a suitcase or backpack. So that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.